so the California legislature uh, happened or, you know, the uh, the legislative session, excuse me, that uh, that ended. And there were some good things that happened. We had a rent control bill that went through on the state level. Uh, we had a bill to help out Uber and Lyft workers uh, in the state and and other contract workers. Um, but we didn't quite get everything. And here's one of our misses. This is shared by Chris, uh, excuse me, not Christina. Christina shared the Working Families Liz Warren story. This story was shared by Susan. Susan, thank you for sharing this story. And sometimes I can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> but thank you, Susan. All right. So here's where California fell short. California fails to pass bills that would have led nation in fighting plastic waste. All right, so California ended its 2019 legislative session on Saturday without passing two bills that would have led the nation in tackling plastic pollution. Again, they did pass some good stuff. There were some reasons for optimism, the rent control um, and the, the bill for um, contract workers. There was some good things, but here's where we fell short. Let's keep reading. Assembly Bill 1080 and Senate Bill 54 would have required plastic producers to cut pollution 75%. By 2030, through a combination of recycling, composting, and reducing packaging. In addition, they would have mandated that all single use plastic products sold in California by 2030 be either recyclable or compostable. And this did not get through. Uh, the bill's passage was stymied by opposition from industry lobbyists. Opponents included the Grocery Manufacturers Association, waste management companies, and some agricultural and glass manufacturing industry players. They worried among other concerns, that the bills would grant too much power to CalRecycle. <laughs> what a ridiculous argument. <laughs> the, the recycling, they might have too much power. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, the, then they'll recycle even more. I, I'm cool with that. Then they might, they, they might, there might be jobs for people that, that are going to be recycling. I'm I'm still okay with all this. They might have more power than us. What what do you guys do? We want to use more plastic that's bad for the environment. I'm fine with them having a greater say than you. But uh, we don't like it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Somehow that that worked though. That worked though for them. We don't want that. The recyclers might have power. We can't have that. We want to pollute the planet. Don't stifle our right to pollute the planet. Okay, we won't. Okay, we won't. They they must have had a great opposition campaign. You know, another another entity that's not uh, here in the article, but I'm sure has something to do with this. Uh, Nestle has a lot of power uh, in California. Nestle has, a, in fact, there there's there is policy floating out there. No pun intended to completely privatize our water to Nestle, if that bill ever moved forward or ever was signed into law, it would be a catastrophe. Um, and if we ever get a Republican governor <laughs> in California, there's a good chance something's going to happen with that thing. And uh, wow, they would completely privatize our water, all of it, to Nestle. Uh, but anyway, so I'm sure Nestle had something to do with that too. So we failed to pass bills that really would have curtailed plastic pollution not only is this bad news for California, it is bad news for the rest of the country. California is a very large state. It is one of the, um, you know, states that folks look to. Lucy lives in California. Lucy, huge influencer. She is a California resident. She is an active voter in California. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, she has a lot to say about this. She's very bummed out this didn't pass. But this is bad for California and the rest of the country, too. I hope another state steps up. And, uh, and picks up the ball where California fell short. But uh, we did do some good things during this legislative session, but not passing these bills to, uh, to, uh, to fight plastic pollution was not one of them. We fell short here. And Susan, thank you for sharing this story. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know? Go through it together and make it our own. 
get your 